In today's video, we're going to be talking about all the key bindings I currently use and which key bindings you should be using so you can laser people out in the battlefield right after this intro, guys. But before we get into the key bindings part of the video, I just want to talk about some pro settings that I use and that you should be using while playing on PC. And that is field of view. And uh, field of view is going to basically zoom out your whole screen. So you have a wider field of view. It's pretty much self-explanatory, guys. You play with the slider. It's going to zoom it in or out. And it's actually going to, having a wider, wider field of view is actually going to help you in the long run because you're able to see things on your screen at one time rather than having it zoomed in where you have to physically move over to see an object, if that makes sense. So please play with your field of view settings. I know this is something that y'all know exists in the game, but you guys still play on 100 field of view, which is totally fine, right? Which is totally fine. But what I'm saying is that if you have a wider field of view, it'll make it better for you. It'll, it'll just make it easier for you to do pretty much everything in the game. ADS field of view is gonna, I would definitely set it to affected rather than having it independent. Independent pretty much, uh, independent's pretty much just gonna zoom your screen in while you're ADSing, while affected is pretty much just gonna leave your screen where it's at. And then the, your character is just gonna zoom it in without having any of that magnification on your ADS. This is gonna result in lower recoil. This is why a lot of people always ask me, how are you getting low recoil? How are you hitting your shots? This is why. All right, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was the minimap shape. And the minimap shape that, this is actually kind of important, guys. I still see a bunch of people still playing with the circle minimap. And I really, really urge you guys to switch them to square because if you can see right here on square, you have so much more just like space in this radar where you can see a whole lot more. So I, I don't think that this takes too much explaining. I think you guys already know where I'm going with this explanation, but I'm just gonna straight up just tell you that the square minimap is where it's at. A lot of pro players are using this. Uh, main reason being if someone is shooting you from behind, let's say in this corner right here versus on this minimap in this corner right here, you're more than likely to see it on the square minimap rather than the circle having the red dot being off the circle, if that makes sense. So please switch them to square. I really urge you guys to do that. It'll help you out a lot. And let's get on to the key bindings. Now this is strictly going to be for mouse and keyboard players. I know that controller players have like their little, little settings that they can switch and dead zone and all that. But we're going to be talking about um, keyboard and mouse strictly. So this is uh, this. So if you play on mouse and keyboard, this is strictly going to be for you. And uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about mouse sensitivity first. Uh, my mouse sensitivity in game is going to be 12, but I play on a 400 DPI on my mouse so it's a pretty you know it's a pretty low sensitivity when it comes to your mouse and i do have a big mouse pad and this is something you're gonna have to just change yourself and uh, depending on how large your mouse pad is so the aim down sight ads mouse sensitivity is going to be relative and the invert mouse look is going to be disabled mouse acceleration is going to be zero mouse filtering zero mouse smoothing disabled all right so next we're going to be looking at the uh, movement so this is where uh, this is where the key bindings come into play all right key binds here we go Move forward is obviously going to be uh, your AWSD. That's that's a given, right? We shouldn't be using the arrow keys. So let's have those set as AWSD. Uh, my use is going to be E. Jump stand slash mental is going to be space, crouch, and slide Q. It's whatever works for you. I just think that Q is the best for me because Q is just like right there by the W key. So I just use that. It's so much easier to slide, so much easier to crouch around. All right, prone, left control. Tactical sprint is going to be left shift. That's uh, that's given that you're gonna be pushing that with your pinky, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pr relatively simple to control. And gestures and sprays, you can set this to whatever. I just have a J. All right, weapons and equipment. This is gonna be something different here. We got uh, these are gonna be like all of the controls that have to do with how your character moves and fires and all that stuff. So fire and aim down sight. That should be given. That should be left and right mouse button. Shouldn't be changing anything there. Your reload is gonna. I just have it at R. Your next weapon, I have that on on one. You can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse you can also do that my weapon mounting is going to be my forward mouse button uh it's going to be like the mouse button on the side 
So it's gonna be pretty it's gonna be pretty easy to mount. I don't really use a button for anything, so I kind of just set it like that. Alright, alternate fire, that's gonna be your semi-auto and your fully automatic switch. That's I just have that at B. Like I don't need to touch it ever if I actually need to. So melee is gonna be F. And my lethal and tactical, this is something that a lot of people have been asking me. So how do you reach those uh, lethals and tacticals so easily? It's just gonna be three and four. I have my one and two for my primary and secondary, numbers three and four for my lethal and my tactical. Night vision, don't ever use that ever. I just leave that at N, that's pretty stock. Field upgrade, that's gonna be C. Very easy, you can hit that with your thumb right next to the V button. Really easy once you get dead silence, deady, whatever you're gonna call it, uh, munitions box. Uh, mission ability, I have that on G. My weapon inspect is gonna be I, and decrease zoom is J. I don't really, I don't really use any of these keys all that much, so just leave those on default. That's not something that's super important, you know? All right, kill streaks in vehicles. Pretty simple here. Uh, so the first kill streaks slot is going to be X. It's gonna be right under the S key. It's gonna be so much easier to activate your UAVs, your personal radars, everything like that. My second slot is gonna be Z, and then my third slot is going to be five. This, and then munition, munition four or kill streak number four. That's gonna be six. All right. When it comes to war zone, you're gonna want to apply your plates. I use Z to apply my armor, and then all of the stuff for war zone key bindings center vehicle camera is gonna be f uh lean forward is gonna be c lean backwards shift fire is gonna be left mouse button fire missiles all that stuff so this is all gonna be i'm not gonna go through all of these but these are all gonna be pretty stock things you can always just change it for war zone all right overlays and shortcuts if you want to pull up the map like i have that set to m and uh my ping okay so this is gonna be something that's a little odd if you look down at your keyboard you can see that the number zero key is at the very end of the keyboard it's very far to reach very awkward i don't know why i've been playing with the zero key as a ping for some time now and i just can't seem to find a perfect key to ping and i always find myself just unnecessarily pinging something so i'd like to just put you know put this key binding somewhere away and somewhere where if i need it i need it i can reach it to open my inventory for warzone it's going to be tab and my push to talk key is going to be the back left mouse button uh on the side for uh for push to talk i do use push to talk in game on mouse and key Board. and yeah as far as everything else goes here like shortcuts and stuff like that that's all standard it's up on the screen if you guys want to pause it all right these are all the the extras uh the all the extra key bindings i think these are all default i'm just gonna show you them just to show you them i don't really touch them i think these are all default now you guys can pause it if you need to i'm not going to be going into too detailed descriptions about uh what's what each of these do but uh i really hope that you guys uh enjoyed all these key bindings and i will see you guys in the next video take care of yourselves Thank you.